Africa needs to integrate international norms and internal actions with continental and local action. Um, the former Secretary General of the United Nations, Kofi Annan, put it in his traditionally eloquent manner. He says, governing ourselves better within and governing better together on the international scale. That's one. Two, we need the inclusive, the all-inclusive involvement of all our people, particularly our women and our children, our civil society, our politicians, both in government and in opposition. We need to recognize the importance of organization. And uh, I'd like to quote Kwame Nkrumah here, and I know, that, I know that I run the risk of being seen as a, a narrow nationalist. But I think Kwame Nkrumah had a few things to say that we need to think about. Kwame Nkrumah said, we must organize as never before, for organization decides everything. Organization means evidence, data, science and technology, fact-based decision making. It means education, all inclusive education in the, in the need to wipe out illiteracy from this continent. And with this, I'm always uh, comforted by an axiom that I came across in connection with UNESCO. It says, conflict starts in the minds of men. It is therefore in the minds of men that peace ought to be forged. And this means education, education, education. Silencing the guns, Your Excellencies, is not simply about peace and security. It is also, and perhaps more importantly, about inclusive, sustainable development, the observation and sustenance of human rights across the board. For us in Africa, and perhaps fortuitously for us, the resonance of the UN SDG 2030 with our own Agenda 2063 have been reinforced by internal developments such as the CFTA, which we are told is a major game changer. But it will not come on its own. We need to work for us for it. So for us to build the con conducive conditions to achieve these lofty ambitions, the AU has called for all the sanctions on this country where we are today to be lifted. Because there's no point tying a man's hands and accusing him of not being able to run properly.